Next, I'll bring you somewhere you can really have fun. That place up ahead is Idine Park. Everything here is themed around Soul Glad. It's a little crowded, so make sure you stay close to me. This is the largest park in Golden Hour. It represents the soda culture of Penacony. The gigantic soda bottle houses the headquarters of the Soul Glad Enterprise. Soul Glad is said to have originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. Invented by a man named Susa, it was thus called the Sisa Juice. Ideen, an interstellar traveling merchant, saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. Ideon then carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soul Glad. He also pioneered the school of thought known as Syrupism, in which he promoted the consumption of Soul Glad as a new kind of lifestyle. And just like that, he created a commercial miracle. Did you know? One of the ingredients in the original recipe for Susa juice, known as Dream Leaf, has gone extinct. That means the only place you can get a taste of Apocal Soul Glad is in Penacony's dreamscape. Now this is also the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. Time waits for no one. Let me show you around. See these musical instruments playing themselves with no human performers in Penacony? Many objects and facilities have gained self-awareness due to the influence of the Memoria. After being tamed by the family, some of them form the Sweet Dreams troupe to provide entertainment for guests. Be careful, though. Sometimes these animated objects can be affected by dangerous emotions or memories. And, uh transform into the destructive Dream Jolt Troop. <laughs> if you ever run into them, go ask the security guards nearby for help. Hey! There's a ride attendant over there! Let me get some ID and tokens for you. With those, you'll be able to... Hi there! This is my friend's first visit to Pinnacone. May I get some ID and tokens for her? Of course. Please show me your dreamscape pass. Name. Here's your dreamscape pass and tokens. Be sure to keep a good hold of them. Have a good time! How many tokens are there? Ten! You may now enjoy the attractions in Panacone to the fullest. Thanks! <laughs> Let's try out some of the games nearby. Our goal is to use all the tokens. Let's do it! Let me see, which one should we try first? Since this is your first time here, I say we start with the easiest games. The Dreamy Slots and Lucky Wheel are pretty straightforward.
What's taking Firefly so long? Huh. She's heading toward the bar. for a while. Did you have fun? Pentagoni's golden hour is pretty amazing, isn't it? I know, right? It's a dream that's loving and forgiving to everyone. Just like the family. It's vast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. <laughs> I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It was willing to accept me. Even though I didn't belong here. I've grown very fond of this place. And that makes me want to... <laughs> share it with others. I am. At least for now. Hey, can you come closer? Closer, please. I have a question for you. Did you travel here alone? <laughs> I see. sure whether you realize it or not, but I took you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because... Well... Someone's been following you. Don't turn around. I'm certain that you're his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. He's about... Five feet, nine inches tall, give or take? Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well-trained. He walks in long strides, but his steps are light and barely audible. That way of walking doesn't leave footprints. He looks like a skilled fighter. The covert kind. He has large palms, yet his fingers are slender and nimble. I reckon he has experience using knives, like a short sword or a dagger. Do you know anybody like that? A maroon jacket, emerald eyes, dark blue hair... Ah! He's coming our way! Hey, well, if it isn't my most loyal customer, the Trailblazer Girl. It's been such a long time, old friend. What a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. Yes, it's none other than your old friend, Sampo. You're surprised to see me? <laughs> you know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You helped your L06 open up to the outside. Um, this gentleman is? Oh, Miss March, don't you remember me? After all the favors I did for you all in Bellabog? My name is Firefly? I'm a stage performer from the Iris family. Oh, no wonder. I was just thinking... There's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. It's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sempo, and I'm an old pal of hers. Oh, uh, don't be like that. You're making things awkward. Mr. Sampo, what's the purpose of your visit to Penacony? 
my purpose. <laughs> You're funny. What else can I do in Penacone? Well, I just hang around, daydream, and do the things that anyone on vacation would do. Speaking of which, old pal, since fate brings us here, I'm obliged to give you a tour of this area. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penacone well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups, I think I can do much better. <sighs> entertainment for grown-ups? Looks like my analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow me, you two. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. Well, uh, Mr. Sampo. Anything bothering you, Miss Firefly? Don't worry. This isn't going to involve anything illegal. Uh, it takes a long time to reach the other side on foot. How about we just bounce over there using the pinball machine? Pinball machine? She's not fully acclimated to the dreamscape yet. This could get dangerous. Dangerous? Miss Firefly, we're in a beautiful dreamland crafted by the family. How could it be dangerous? This is the perfect place to have some thrills. Come on, pal. Show her what you're made of. District? Bingo! Our destination is right there. Pepe Papeshi Salon. This is no ordinary salon. The only guests allowed to enter are the Papeshi people. Or those with VIP cards. But then again, nothing is too difficult for Sempo. Two friends here who want to come with me. Any seats left inside? Mm, how many of you? Three. Show me your VIP card. No problem. Here it is. I'm talking about your friends. I've already seen yours. Um, well, how can my friends have VIP cards when they've only just arrived? Can you make an exception and let them in? I'll provide my VIP card as guarantee that they won't cause any trouble. Okay? No, I can't break the rules. Please go home if you don't have the card. Well, seems like we can't go in. Just stay cool. Let me think of something. <gasps> Got it. Okay, so we aren't going in anymore. But could you help me pick up something I left inside? The moment of betrayal. The cloud of doubt. And everlasting hatred. Just mention the clown's items to Miss Thunderbolt. She'll understand what I mean. 
Just be patient. I'll explain everything when the time comes. Sure thing. I'll deliver your message to her. Please wait here. <clears throat> Here's the items you asked for. Uh, Miss Thunderbolt said these alone wouldn't be enough. She wanted you to have these broken dreams. She said do with them as you see fit. Miss Thunderbolt is such a thoughtful person. Thank you so much. Now, we're only short of one item, which we might be able to find in an arcade machine. Coincidentally, there's one at the salon entrance. Let's get moving. I want to show you something fun. Is that a TV? Why was this TV dumped on the side of the road? <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken, Miss Firefly. This is an arcade! This fine machine has a sense of aesthetics worthy of the dreamscape. It's nothing like the techie junk you see around Punk Lord. Hey, how about you try touching it and see what happens? Well, I do think there's something fishy with this TV. This belongs to the family. How can there be anything wrong with it? If you aren't up for it, I'll just do it myself. Good swag now, pal. So, how did she turn into that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. you don't get it, do you? Well, she was sucked into the TV just now and swapped bodies with Hanu. Hold on, let me take a closer look. <gasps> look! The title of this game is Hanu's Adventure. According to the plot synopsis, you have been shrunken down by one of Stone's devices. You will embark on an epic adventure to rescue Dreamville with your miniature body. Now, if you want to return to your normal size, you have to do everything that Hanu has done in the cartoon series. Or you can just touch this TV. says, enter the door to start your adventure. You have to climb inside from there to start your challenge, pal. We'll cheer you on. <laughs> of course we will. Good luck.
Ha <laughs> I finally caught you, you little Hanu. Oh, look how small you've become. You won't be a... <laughs> Your way is blocked. How pity. There's a huge secret that I would never tell you. If you swap bodies again through the TV, you'll be able to destroy the obstacle and break through. <laughs> oh! No, oh, I hate my mouth for revealing my secret. again and taken the treasure I worked so hard to snatch away from other people. Fine. I'll admit it. You've rescued Dreamville once again. But you just wait. I'll be back. moment of freedom you have earned it now that we've got everything we need we just need to go into a dream <gasps> just follow me <laughs> you're about to experience the real fun <laughs> 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 